Hey everybody, it's Nick with PH Lawn Care, and it's that time of the year again when everybody wants to show off their trailer and their epic setup or their phenomenal setup or whatever. Well, mine is going to be titled this year My Almost Perfect Solo Lawn Care Trailer Setup. So uh, let's just dive right into it. All right, so here it is it's a 6x10 open utility trailer. Uh, Dad picked this up, the trailer up for a song, but we probably put more into it than that actual trailer cost. Um, put a new tongue jack on it. Um, it's also got the grill lifts on the side. We went ahead and put the grill lifts on it. It's got uh, brand new wheels and tires on both sides. And um, Back around 1st of February, I went. To, I had a huge mulch and rock job that I knew was coming up. So I just went and got a few sheets of plywood and made two foot walls all the way around. Just so it'll hold the mulch in and keep it from spilling out. But this thing's come in real handy. Uh, it was handy before, but now with the walls on it, it, it's even better. But yeah, don't hardly have anything in this, but it's a great spare trailer. But now you want to see the real trailer set up? Let's go. All right, so here it is, guys. I'd like to uh, do a first shout out to um, Red's Vinyl Graphics in Kingsport, Tennessee. That's uh, who did the whole trailer setup, the graphics on it. It's got the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube stickers on it. And of course, you guys have seen my logo. It comes on at the beginning of the video. He got that on there. Um, he had to manipulate the graphs a little bit, but I still think it turned out great. Um, it definitely catches people's eyes going down the road. Now that is a brand new, it's a 2020 seven by 16 Homesteader Challenger. So we'll get to the inside of that in just a minute. I'm still uh, rolling with the 2014 Silverado Crew Cab 1500 half ton. Uh, I know uh, y'all probably start throwing comments with as much weight as I'm towing. I think it's about 5,500 pounds every day. Uh, I'm gonna eventually need to step up to a three quarter ton truck, which I'd like to do anyway, put a dump insert, but you're always growing. I know I need it, but for now, that's what I, I've got to roll with. Um, so this is the outside. Let's get to the goodies part of it. Okay, on my 2019 video, I had a comment a couple days ago that said, whenever you started talking about your toolbox on your truck, you about lost me. So just real quick, the reason I have it, uh, I keep my drill set in there, socket set, uh, straps, bungee cords, that sort of thing. Uh, your contractor bags, weed killer, bar oil, two cycle oil. Um, and last year I had a flat on the trailer. So happy because I had a built-in spare in the trailer on a rack. No jack. So this year, I've got a jack in here. Um, two cycle oil. And then these guys, I have hedge trimmers, but I love these guys. They just come in super handy. This is a Fiskars, I think. Yeah, Fiskars. And this one's like 25 years old, but it just won't die. And it's really my favorite. So that's that for the toolbox. Uh, I do have the safety vest in there and I, I just throw my wheelbarrow in the bed of the truck. Just never know when you're going to need it. So, all right, let's keep going. All right, I had it done on all three sides, the graphics, just the uh, ramp part, of course. And if you notice in my video, he actually, or in my, on my logo, he actually got the phone number in the grass like it is on the logo. So, I, I still, every time I see this trailer, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time. I just so impressed with that job that he did on it. Again, it's Red's Vinyl Graphics. So let's take a look inside. All right, so I'm just gonna start on this side of the trailer, work our way uh, all the way around it. So guys, with me, the big thing is quality and how much does it cost? Is it worth what you're spending on it? This right here was in my old enclosed trailer. It's a buyer's uh, string rack. 
think it's like 20 bucks on Amazon. And like I said, this is my third season. It's still going strong. So I'm not a real brand. Oh, it's got to be green touch. It's got to be equipment to finish, which you're getting ready to find out. I just want something that works good, lasts a long time, and with the least amount of money I can get away with without being cheap. You know what I mean? So anyway, I've got the steel uh, trimmer line on it, and I'll just take random safety glasses and throw them in here, and then whenever I go to a weedy, I swap out my good ones for a pair of these. So I just keep them hanging there. Uh, 99 cent clips off Amazon for the, gar for the leaf rake, and I don't really put yard signs out anymore unless I do a fresh landscaping job. If I do a, a brand new landscape install, I'll put one in for like a week, see if I get any business off of it. Um, main reason, cause they keep getting stolen. I had 15 at one time, I think I'm down to three. There's two right here and I, there may be one in the garage, but anyway. So I just keep those there just in case of the landscape job, I'll throw one up. Now moving on, I've got the four place Extreme Pro Series Green Touch Trimmer Rack. Now, this is reason number one, it's an almost perfect trailer setup. Four uh, position trimmer rack, three trimmers. Well, two trimmers and a hedge trimmer. First one, I've got the FS94R. This is my second season with it. Great trimmer, lightweight, a lot of power. I've got nicknames for these guys. Uh, I kind of like calling this one Sugar Ray Leonard and this one Muhammad Ali, but that's just me. Um, got the Steel 91R. This is my fourth season with it. Never had any problems out of it. Still fires up on the first pull. I mean, just great reliable uh, trimmer. And then I've got the articulating head hedge trimmer, the HL94. As y'all know, this and this are the exact same thing. They just changed the heads on it. So great little um, engines, a lot of power. They really get the job done. So reason number one, it's almost perfect. I want a steel 91 edger. So that's why I got this. Hopefully this year I'll end up with the 91 edger. So that's what this is for. Now this is why I do it. But I've noticed that uh, there's a little attachment you can put on your trimmers to hold extra string so whenever you're away from your truck out in the field oh, i forgot string and they I, I don't even know how much it is but i was like i always just tear it or cut another piece off and whenever i go to trim i just stick it in my back pocket again it's saving me money and i i don't see the point in attaching something else to the trimmer especially since these racks have to have these blocks on it Anyway, okay, and I, I just throw some gloves here, so I always have a pair I can just grab and go. Now this is what's going to drive people like Beach River Landscapes, Wally, uh, Brian's Lawn Maintenance, Cut and Clean. You guys, Wally's all green touch. Of course, y'all know Brian's Lawn Maintenance is Equipment Defender, and Cut and Clean even put out that parody, uh, making fun of green touch because he loves Equipment Defender. This thing's got both. So the next rack is the equipment defender. And I'm gonna tell y'all why on all this. And it just, my random hand tools, uh, most of these are cobalt. There's a true temper, but they all come from Lowe's. Anyway, that's that. I've got two sure cages with uh, five gallon sure cans in them. Um, the only thing I've got bad to say about this is I got one for Christmas and then I got the other one I don't know, I think it's in February. But anyway, what got me was, I ordered this thing, and literally one week after I, I got it, they came out with a new version of it. I'm like, you couldn't have told me that you were coming out with a new version of it whenever I ordered this one, so I could, but anyway, that, but it is what it is. But two sure cages with five gallon sure cans in it, up here's the mix, down here's the regular gas. So moving on to the back, it's still cold in the mornings, guys. Yesterday's shoot is like 46 degrees, that as high as it got. So uh, it's still chilly at times. So I keep my red hooded sweatshirt. Anybody ever seen the Adam Sandler skit on Saturday Night Live, red hooded sweatshirt? I'm trying to liven it up here a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> some more 99 sick clips with push broom in it. Um, 
I don't think I've ever even had this thing off, off the racks, but I have it in case I need it. And then, of course, I just put these little loop hooks in here for the chainsaw and the trimmer tools. Just hang them there so they're convenient if I need them. Reason number two, it's almost perfect. Things didn't work out the way I wanted them to today, or this would have a hedge trimmer in it. And that's a different story, but I'm going with the Steel 45. Yes, I know it's a homeowner, but you gotta trust your dealer. And my dealer is like, Nick, no more than you use it. We've had one for eight years, it's great. That's all you need. And it's 299, something like that. So. And like I said, I don't use a handheld hedge trimmer that much. If I've got really big jobs, I can grab the 94. So reason number two, it's almost perfect. I don't have a hedge trimmer in my hedge trimmer. Right? And I'd like to shout out to Xmark and Skag for the decals. Also JR Landscaping and Beach River for the stickers. Y'all, I haven't got any stickers yet, but as soon as I do, I'm going to get more involved in the sticker swap. I'm sorry, I'm just slacking on that part. But thanks a lot, guys, I appreciate it. That's my sticker wall I don't have on the garage. I'm gonna make it my trailer and just kind of decorate the inside of it with all, all of you guys' stickers. Moving on, another green touch rack. Now, don't tell me you put it up wrong. Yes, I'm aware I put it up wrong, but I did this because it's supposed to go this way and that way this will go in and it'll hold it the way I want it to. But I didn't want it that way because I knew if it's upside down, this thing keeps sliding off. And whenever I had on hooks, I'm OCD like that. It drives me insane. So I mounted it this way so it would set flat. Plus it, it'll keep it from flooding out as much, stuff like that. And I just have bungee pulling it in. And there you go. Uh, this is a steel MS-170. Yes, it's steel's uh, entry level. I mean, this is bottom of the barrel for steel's chainsaw, but guys, I love this thing. I think I got it during um, Steeler deal days for $159.99, something like that. But this thing has paid for itself so many times. It's just an awesome piece of equipment. Love it. I'm glad to have it on the trail. Moving on, um, next we have the Green Touch Industries sprayer rack with the Steel SG20 uh, backpack sprayer in it. Again, I'm gonna tell y'all why I've got Equipment Defender and Green Touch in here. I've got the 10 foot step ladder. These are just hooks I picked up from Lowe's, I think both of them are like six bucks, something like that. Anyway, y'all recognize these cobalt racks from my old trailer I had, that's what I had my hedge trimmer and my chainsaw and all that stuff on. But Equipment Defender, I saw from videos from the GIE Expo of 2019, is supposed to be coming out with a rack. It was supposed to be out this spring. And I DM'd them on Instagram and they said something happened with development or something, I don't know, but it's not gonna be available till August, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I, I'm thinking that's what Equipment Defender told me. Uh, so until then, this is my Echo PPT 2620 pole saw rack, which it doesn't fall off. It, it stays where it's at. And I mean, this is what it is. It's good for now. I'm not worried about it, but it, it stays in place and it's up off the floor and I always have it with me whenever I need it. Okay, so moving on. I've got the Echo 8010T. Guys, I know there's debates, the Red Max, the Steel BR800, and this one, but I love this thing. It, it's a beast. Y'all know I'm a steel guy. All the sticks are steel, chainsaw steel, but I actually got the opportunity to put a, a Steel 800 on my back, take it off, put this one on my back, and don't kill me with all these comments. I just thought this one had a lot more brute power to it than the, than the steel. And I love steel, as y'all can tell. And I forgot to give a shout out to Echo. Echo hooked me up with some decals too. So of course they went on the trailer. And what's going to drive them insane, this is an equipment defender 
blower rack, which I, I like it. It's great, you know, just kind of how it works. And I've got the tube holder right there. Now this is how I did my blower rack and my old trailer. Racks are a lot of money. So I don't have one for this yet, but these hook, it's hooks from Lowe's and like a $2 hook to hold the tube in place. But this is the Echo PB580T. This thing's been with me for three years, I think three or four. Awesome little blower. So if you don't need all the brute power of this, you're just blowing down one quick driveway. Boom, you can take it off the hook and go and you don't have to go through all this stuff. It's just laying right there. I don't worry about locking all of it 90% of the time because I'm in a good neighborhood where I just don't worry about it. Plus it's an enclosed trailer. If I lock the doors, I don't have to worry about the racks being locked. I just have the racks because they protect the equipment and stuff like that. So, but reason number three, it's almost perfect is because I don't have another backpack blower rack. But to me right now, it's really no big deal. Now let me talk about these racks real quick. Well, I've got a mixture of them, okay? It's all about saving money. Equipment Defender and Green Touch Industries, I think are the best trimmer racks out there. Y'all can argue with that too, but just my opinion. And if I'm not mistaken, they're both $159.99. Well, Northern Tool sent me a coupon, a coupon, and it was, uh, I could actually use it on the Green Touch trimmer rack. It's like 10% off, might have been 20, I think it's 10% off. So that saved me some money. No shipping costs, so that saved me some money. So I'm like, no brainer. If I'm saving like shipping, which probably be about 20 bucks, and then 10% off, which was like 26 bucks, that's enough for me to go, I don't care if it's Green Touch or Equipment Defender, either one, I'm saving some money and I'm getting a good trimmer rack. So that's why I have that. This rack, this one, this one, and one of the sure cages my wife got me uh, for Christmas. And at Christmas, Green Touch ran a special 15% off all their racks and free shipping. So again, no brainer. I think Equipment Defender at Christmas ran 10% off, but still, that's why I got those. And then, Whenever I got the other sure cage, I, I, it was just me being OCD. I just wanted them to match. That's why I didn't end up with an equipment defender with one of those. Now, why'd I get this one? Green Touch for this rack, 55 bucks. Uh, equipment defender, 40 bucks. Bronze 10, saves you four bucks. And shipping, again, saves some money. So that's why I went with this one over the Green Touch. Um, this rack. Equipment Defender is 139, this one's 99. And back whenever I was putting the trailer together back in January and February and getting all these racks, Equipment Defender was out of stock on their sprayer racks for like ever. And then of course I buy this one a week later, they're back in stock. But this one was 99 bucks and I think Equipment Defender's rack is 139. So that's why I want those. now. I'll go back up to the backpack blower rack while I went with Equipment Defender on it. Um, again, props. I, if you look at the videos, they pretty much operate the same. They're both great. I was uh, putting this hook in and the knock it stood up and hit my head on that. So it, it's solid. You can shake the whole trailer with this thing. But I went with the Equipment Defender on this, again, because of price. Um, Green Touch, $189.99. And Equipment Defender, I think $139.99, and then Ryan's 10, saves you another 10%. So, and that's like 50 bucks, guys. So I just went with that because it does what it's supposed to do. It gets it up off the floor. And like I said, I'm not, I don't care. Green Touch, Equipment Defender, but a uh, guy on Instagram that I'm buddies with, um, you know who you are. He said, are they going to get along? And I was like, well, I keep them on different sides of the trailer, except for the tool rack. But anyway, that's it with, with the racks. Now let's go on. Oh, I forgot. I've got the Honda HRX 217 HYA. I about forgot one more rack. This is 
the Jungle Gym boot, the Jungle boot, and all you do is just pop that in there and it keeps it secure. Now let me show you, I figured this out, it is super cool on the top bag. Whenever I'm trying to refill the push motor with gas, Boom, right down in there. I just thought that that was so awesome. And I'll show you later, whenever I put the mowers in, I can have both my mowers in here, both my big mowers in here. And if I just need the push mower for a, a yard, I can take it out the side door easy as possible. So I think that's pretty cool. So, so far that's the setup. Now we'll get back to the big mowers. One decal I forgot to point out in there. Pujo Yardware, they sent me one too. It's beside the backpack blower rack. Somebody uh, just pointed out that I forgot <laughs> that. Thank you, appreciate it. But so I got a shout out to Equipment Defender, Green Touch, Echo Steel, Honda Power Equipment, Jungle Gems, um, Cujo Yardware, Skag, X Mark, and that's where we're at right now. I'm still rolling with the same motors I had last year. If you saw the 2019 uh, video, it's the 48 inch X Mark S series turf tracer. Love this thing, hugs a hill great. And that's a 2019, this is a 2018 Skag Tiger Cat 2, 52 inch cut. My workhorse, love, love this. Uh, now we talked about growing. You're always wanting to grow. I got the privilege the other day, my dealer, who Carter Shipley at Cox Tractor. If you're in Southwest Virginia, Upper East Tennessee, go see Carter at Cox uh, Tractor or check out their lawnmower shop. Those guys are great. They do a great job. Um, they always get you in and out. But they carry X Mark and Skag. And that's why I have one each. Carter advised me to, for the walk behind that the X Mark, not starting a firestorm here, but I should go with the X mark on that. And of course you can't say enough great things about the Skag um, Tiger Cat 2. But talking about growth, the reason I got this trailer so big, he let me demo a Laser Z last week and a Skag Turf Tiger, the Turf Tiger 2. The Turf Tiger 2 is a 61 inch cut, the Laser Z is 60. Uh, we did a thing on Instagram, which one you like better. And I think what the, X Mark Laser Z won like 60 to 40 or something like that. I disagree. The X Mark has a beautiful cut. I mean, lays awesome stripes. It rides like a Cadillac. I mean, there's no doubt in that. The comfort of the ride on the X Mark is just unreal. And the stripes are great. But the first yard I cut was at 945 with it, and there's still a lot of dew on the grass, and it clumped. I'm like, Phew. Why, why is a mower like this clumping wet grass? But anyway, the Turf Tiger 2, it's just a tank. I mean, I, that's what I hope to upgrade to next. Love that mower as far as the zero turn mowers. So that's why I got this. I don't plan on upgrading this. This is exactly what I want for what I do, but I do want to get the uh, bigger zero turn. And I checked it out. I hauled both the Laser Z and the Turf Tiger with the turf tracer in there and they fit just fine of course it's tied on the sides with the length i can get them both in there so anyway back to the, these guys it's a 2018 skag tiger cat 2 2019 x mark turf tracer this one's got the kawasaki fs 600b and i know the skag's got a kawasaki on it too it's the 691b this one 325 hours 174 hours but for my setup solo i run by myself i've got everything i need right here so uh, it just works really well for me like i said i just want to upgrade to a bigger mower because whenever i ran that tiger cat and the late or the turf tiger and the laser z i couldn't believe i actually figured out i'm 34 percent more productive with those mowers over this one 
which I love this mower, but that's how much time it saved me on the yards. Uh, just, I guess, not only going from a 52 inch cut to a 60 inch cut, but you can go faster on the terrain because the mower is so much bigger. So, and a lot of other reasons y'all are, I'm sure going to point out to me in the comments. I'm just trying to wrap this video up a little quicker because I told I, I was told I'm getting close to 20 minutes. But anyway, let's get these things in and the trailer so you can see what it looks like, how much room I've got and what I'm working with. A couple of things real quick. I did find out whenever I had the Laser Z and the Tiger Cat in here, this guy's gonna have to go because whenever it comes out, it, I'm just gonna have to find another place for it. It's too wide, it would hit it. And you're wondering how much room I've got here. Between the end of the trailer, I wear a size 12, so there's at least a foot, and then they're probably about, I don't know, 12, about 14 inches. And I didn't pull or back this all the way in, so I've still got like another six, eight inches back here. So that leaves plenty of room to get either the Tiger, uh, Turf Tiger or the Laser Z in there. Turf Tiger. Um, but that tells you how much room, uh, room length was. And as you can see, eight and a half would have been better. Yeah, but that's a lot of trailer going down the, the road and I can get around and get what I need out of it. So for one person, it, it works for me. But that's the setup. I want to show y'all one more thing and then we're just gonna wrap that up. Okay, this is at the back of the trailer. You can tell what there's about eight inches between the back of the skag and the honda so that leaves me plenty of room i just slide it out of the jungle boot and boom i can take it right out so hopefully that tells y'all what all you can fit in a 7 by 16 trailer um it's everything i need even with what i hope to grow into a, in a bigger mower i've got everything I need in there. So that's, I'll give you the three reasons why it's almost perfect. Number four is I love this mower, but I think I'd love the Turf Tiger too more, but it's been a good one. Anyway, guys, um, still new and squeaky. <laughs> Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, uh, hit that subscribe button, the like button. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, the link to these two will be in the bio. And I'd like to take this time to wish everybody a happy Easter. Uh, enjoy your family, get some rest, and uh, get ready to grind it out again on Monday. Uh, see you guys next time.